involves um, a very high uh, blip, if you will, in leaves of absence necessitated by teachers going out on maternity leave. Uh, those can be costly to the district because um, teachers who go out on maternity leave are allowed within certain guidelines to use sick days as part of their uh, maternity leave. So they, that means they're staying on the payroll. Obviously, we're also hiring a, a substitute teacher to come in and cover the class. So um, while we do budget for this, um, the uh, increases this year and this present fiscal year are higher than we've seen in, in other years. So those are the, the two issues that I'm identifying for the month of November. Um, having said that, I'm confident that we are staying in the black at this point and will be as the year progresses. Um, and I'll continue to uh, monitor this and, and would be happy to answer any questions the committee might have. Any questions? <coughs> no questions? No. Thanks, Bob. We have um, bids and donations to accept. First, we have uh, a very generous gift from uh, Mr. Jeff Simons and his family. It's a, a new sign, uh, Arthur J. Kenny Athletic Field sign in the school colors of green and gold. It's much uh, more noticeable than the old sign, and it was, uh, it was installed about two weeks ago. And uh, I want to thank the um, Simons family, and at this point, entertain a motion to accept the um, donation with gratitude. Mr. Chairman, I move to accept the uh, new sign for Arthur J. Kenny Field, divided, uh, uh, donated by the Simons family uh, with gratitude. And I, again, I'd say that Jeff is one of the most generous uh, people we have in this town as far as contributing to the schools. Always has been, not only in financial ways, but also in putting in time. And, and that's a beautiful sign out there. It's a great tribute to Mr. Kenny, who I know is a neighbor of Jeff's as well. So um, again, I'd, I'd move that we accept that donation with gratitude. Second. Motion second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Unanimous. We also have a, well, we have another donation, but I can't. Do we have another donation? We have correspondence. Oh, we have correspondence. And we have a short administrative. Correspondence? Right, correspondence. Um, in the administrative report in your packet, I've included a recent announcement from Governor Patrick um, that recognizes Massachusetts grade 12 performance on the NAEP as tied for first in the nation on both English and math exams. I included this because I think it's very important that we recognize the high performance of our students across this state. And, um, and, and keep that education central to our conversations. Um, I also want to indicate that our North Reading High School did participate in this particular uh, pilot of the grade 12 NAEP. Um, so our students were included in these very high performing students. And just a reminder that Massachusetts also tied or ranked first nationwide in both grades four and eight on English language arts and math exams in 2009 as well. In addition to this, I've also included in your packet under correspondence um, a, letter, a letter from student Carol Laforte. I'm very pleased um, to report that my professional organization, the Mass Association of School Superintendents, Intendants annually awards Certificate of Excellence to top performing students. And Carol Fort is this year's recipient, and she is a senior. She received the Certificate of Academic Excellence, and um, she had a photograph in the newspaper, and so she wrote a thank you. So I wanted you to be able to see that. And finally, we received correspondence from the Board of Directors of the Christian Community Service Organization of North Reading and the volunteers of the North Reading Food Pantry expressing their deep gratitude to Principal Sean Colleen, the staff, students, and parents at the LD Bachelor School who decorated and filled 54 Thanksgiving boxes for local resi residents, as well as making a substantial monetary contribution to the food pantry. Very good. Fantastic. I know, Jerry, I know some people want to get out of here quickly. Okay. I do, just one quick thing. All right. I was at the Suburban Coalition Foundation meeting this past week, and the two most interesting things that came out of that meeting were Michael Widmer of the Mass Taxpayer Foundation said that unless the legislature and governor pass bills this year to start to contain health care and benefit costs, that they are going to move to put a ballot, a binding ballot question on the, on the ballot in 2012 to overhaul health care and pensions in the state. The second thing that was very interesting was a couple of the towns there were all up in arms because of all the money they're going to have to start spending to start implementing race to the top. 
And I will proudly point out that your committee your decided uh, to not participate in Race to the Top, with one of the main reasons being there were a lot of hidden costs in that program, and this was brought up by a couple of communities at the Mass Taxpayers Foundation saying, where are we going to get the money to pay for this? And I raised my hand and I said, North Reading's proud to report it doesn't have to worry about that at this time. I'm sure you enjoyed that. The last thing he said was to, to <laughs> probably expect a 5% cut in state aid for mm -hmm. fiscal 2012. Yes. So those are the three main things that came out of that. Thank you. Coalition. Congratulations to Carol LaForte, by the way. Too. Oh, yeah, that's, she's, that's yeah, she's a nice, very nice kid, yeah, too. She is. She's very nice. And it's she was very surprised. She didn't know that yeah. she had right. been awarded the certificate. Well, at this time, uh, I think some, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Move to adjourn right away. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Can I have a second? I'll, I'll second. Come on. <laughs> I'll second it. Uh, all those Thank in favor? You. Aye. Opposed? Thank you, Mel. Great Good job. Night. Great job. <laughs> Yeah. All right, let's get a second. Someone's going to help Cliff away. out of here. Sorry.